Currently, you wouldn't be eligible to join as you're not under our coverage um, as an allied health professional. Okay. Can you just remind me which union you were at again? The CPSU. And what does the CPSU cover? The public servants. Yeah. So you don't cover an allied health professional, but if I came under a different um, name or um, label, such as a life coach, would that suffice? Because I wear a few different hats, you know. No, no. So, like, in terms of employees of the NDIA, the agency, so they're people that are employed by the Commonwealth that we would cover. So the nature of your employment wouldn't fall under the coverage for the CPSU. Can you send me the um, documentation to prove that? Because I have a case before the um, AAT and it's gone from WorkSafe to NDIA they've agreed to pay and then been rejected by Comcare and now it's at AAT and they're saying through some particular point in the legislation that I'm a contractor not an employee but the same token I get paid by the government and I have a contract with the government and say with COVID I got an advance payment with um, my work so and in addition to that if you just Google on the NDIS website, who's a worker, it says employees, um, volunteers, sole contractors, anyone like that. Anyone can be a worker. And I've actually got a government ID with the um, social security. So I, I ask you again, with that knowledge that um, I, I've just given you, um, are you able to send me categorically unequivocally true evidence that what you're saying that I can't be a member is factual okay I can organize that for, for that to occur Richard I've got your email address here yeah but I mean I can't you know, you know what I mean like I can't take you just saying oh sorry you can't be a member like I need to see it in legislation though because I've got a TPD case now for work cover and it's probably ongoing. It's worth one and a half to two plus million dollars payout. And I can't just have you say, oh, no, I checked it up. Can't be it. Like, I'd be an idiot to believe that, wouldn't I? And as I told you, if you want me to send evidence of my government certified identification number with DSS and also um, my other documentation, which proves I'm a Commonwealth employee, just send me an email, Dale. Are you, are you a, are, and just to confirm as well, Richard, so you're a provider under the NDIS, is that? Uh, well, it's the way you frame it, though. Do you want to see my government registered ID? No, there's no need for me to see your government registered. There's no ID. need. Well, that would kind of prove that I'm a government employee, wouldn't it? So I'm happy to organise for to be sent for you to be sent some information about the coverage. I don't want information, Dale. This is a $2 million case before the AAT, and I wanted help with someone to, um, you know, bring it over and support me. But as I've been categorically cast character assassinated and fucked over by everyone, including the Prime Minister from the fucking AAT to fucking Comcare and fucking uh, AFCAR and every fucking union and every fucking person in the world, I'd be fucking stupid to trust you, wouldn't I? Okay, so I can, I'll organise for an email to be sent to you, Richard. Can you just acknowledge to me that you don't know who I am and that um, something hasn't been told to you to deny me access to your union? I assure you that I don't know who you are and it's not a case of me denying you access to the union, Richard. It's a case of our coverage and who we can cover. But, see, this, it's like it's like gaslighting. It's like saying, look, there's a car and, and the one person next to you going, that's not a car, that's a motorcycle. And you go, ah, oh, it's a car. And they go, no, it's not. You're fucking crazy. I'm not fucking crazy. I know when someone can support me in a $1.5 to $2 million okay. simple argument. 
And I want the evidence from your um, union, of which I have applied and want to be a member to, of, of evidence to back up what you're saying. If I don't get it, I'll be going somewhere higher. Or your boss. Who's your boss's name? Okay, and as I said, I'll get that information over to you. No, who's your boss's name? Who's the head of your union? My, my boss here, my team leader, his name's Andy. Well, I don't go just by the, um, you know, Lowell and Shark... I'm not calling you Lowell and Shark shit, but just the, um, the, co- the call girl at the start... Like, my freedom of information has been rejected from the Prime Minister and Cabinet, and I'm a nationally renowned and internationally renowned speaker and spoken in Parliament. So you you realise the state up state of um, character assassination and total fucking scapegoating that I'm going through, and it's rendering me fucking broke? And here's yet another person who is a, f- who is a non-government union who is supposed to support, support government workers, of which I am one, and you're telling me... Are you sorry? Nah, computer says no. How's the big fat fuck you sound? I want the evidence, please, and I want your boss's name. Okay, if you're going to continue to speak to me like that, Richard, I'm going to terminate the call. Could I pretty please have your boss's name? Or the, uh, the leader? The, the leader yeah, of... The national... Yeah. The leader of the CPSU? Yeah. Yeah, her name's Melissa Donnelly. Melissa Donnelly. Are you able to just flick me through an email? Um, uh, sorry for swearing. I'm, I've been fighting this system for years and I've been character assassinated by my former partner who's an ASIO agent. And um, I'm multi, multi millions of dollars in detriment. And this is, the oppression from this was so bad that I killed myself in a public hospital, but I was accidentally found and revived. Now I have brain damage, and then it was covered up by the very people that fucking caused it. So it's been 15 months since then. I've been utterly freaking rejected from every statutory authority, person, political figure, prime minister, local MP, anyone, anywhere, anyhow, all said, rich, fuck off and die. So I'm not swearing at you. I'm just saying that's what's happened to me. That's what's happened. It's killed. It's literally killed. It's murdered me. It's a conspiracy to murder. And the oppression which caused that vagrancy and hospitalization and the misdiagnosis, which utterly framed me, that persecution is still happening now. 15 months afterwards, you would think someone with apparently a mental illness would see a psychologist, but there is... I haven't seen one psychologist in 15 months. Additionally, I've got cancer and um, I have death threats at the door and I'm squatting. This is what this movement's done to me. And I'm sorry if I'm bellicose towards you, but every single call I make to get support for me ends up with the same big no. And I want evidence why. Okay, so I've explained that to you. If you'd like an email from us, like regarding the coverage, I'm happy to organise that for you. I need proof of the coverage, Dale, because, um, and I need your boss's um, name CC'd into me too there, please. Okay, so I'll, I'll send that request off to the membership team for you. Okay, have you got my email address? Yes, I do. What, what 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 have you got there? Richard draws stuff at gmail dot com. Thanks. Can I just grab your name again? Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca. Thank you. Bye bye. Fucking can't.